right, kids, today's lesson is how to make cheap vodka not give you a hangover. Cheap alcohol always gives you a little bit worse of a headache. I used to be a winemaker, and then I started distilling my own alcohol and everything, too. So I learned a little bit about the science behind it. And methanol is actually the first thing that comes off, the first legitimate and like major thing that comes off of in the distillation process and a lot of people don't actually separate that out because if you were to do that you would have to basically get it up to 148 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level and then throw all that away. The old moonshiners know this by the way that's why that's where the tail comes from that you're always supposed to throw the first two shots out over your shoulder. So what we're gonna do here today is take this new Amsterdam handle I bought for 15 bucks and I already had a little bit of it and that's over two nights and I got a bit of a headache both mornings. So I got this hot plate going to 140 right now. We're gonna start it off slow. Ooh, it's already boiling off. Maybe I should lower that a little bit. I'm gonna let that cool down for a second. All right, I think the pot's cooled down enough to not steam off. I'm just gonna pour all this in right now. And it actually, I just checked the temperature with this little heat gun and it is showing, it was showing 148, which is what you wanna be at. 148.5 degrees Fahrenheit is when methyl alcohol boils off and keep in mind all of this is uh, dependent on your elevation so luckily we're on a boat so we know what our elevation is exactly we are at exact sea level right now oh my gosh that is so much vodka isn't that cool <laughs> and i marked the level on the bottle here to where we were at and we'll see how much we lose and whatever we lose as long as we don't go over 170 degrees methanol the ethanol boiling point at sea level is 173.1 degrees fahrenheit so as long as we can stay under that we're keeping all the good alcohol and getting rid of all that methanol which will give you that headaches and eventually if you drink enough straight methanol it can lead to blindness also here we go keep an eye on it with the temperature gun and the thing i kind of like about this laser gun here is i can actually see a little steam evaporating off of the vodka here so at 126 degrees i'm not sure exactly what that is there's kind of a variety of things that it could be every uh chemical does have its own boiling point but the the main one that we're looking for here is is methanol because that's the one that uh, will cause you to go blind and is common in a fermentation setting so this could be acetone i was just looking up i think that one's at 133 so if you're drinking acetone probably not great for you either who knows but that's not what we're going for but we are getting rid of bad stuff right now that's the main point all right we're getting some visible steam coming off of here now we are at 141.6 degrees and you can definitely see some steam coming off you can smell kind of a nail polishy nail polish remover kind of scent coming off of that we're gonna bump up the heat just a little bit. Bump it. Now even you can see the steam coming off of that, I believe. And we are at 146.8. I know this is not the most precise measurement for temperatures right here, but it's, uh, it's all I got. I'm on a boat. I don't have my whole lab with me and my wife just had to leave because it smells so bad so you're welcome guys you know doing this all for you and for science well we're at 149 150 so we are definitely boiling off ethanol and you can see the steam coming off you can smell it you kind of get a headache just smelling it so remember to do this in a well ventilated area 
we have both side hat port lights open we got the companionway open and an upper hatch so we should be plenty ventilated but yeah it's not it's not a super fun thing but it's kind of fun for science and just so we're being scientific about the whole process that is sitting at 150 and that is getting about 155 yeah around there still around 150 so we're fairly accurate on the temperature readings and we have not reached anywhere near over 160 yet so um this is not eth ethyl alcohol that is boiling off but it has been steaming for a minute now and none of that is good for you we are looking for ethanol and water and that's all we want in our alcohol we are still sitting at 154 a little bit high but still definitely not high enough to boil off any ethanol but I can smell it now and it is definitely smelling way better um, there's still a little bit of steam coming off but I think I'm gonna cut it there just because I don't want to sit here all night <laughs> but we'll uh, make Malvina test it Malvina gets the worst hangovers off of like one drink normally so I'm gonna have her test it and be the test dummy we have a control right here from before we did this and then we'll we'll try the other um, maybe tomorrow all right it's all cooled down and we will see how much we lose out of there hopefully i'll try to do this <laughs> without spilling <laughs> that's pretty crazy right we lost almost half the freaking bottle off of stuff that's definitely not ethanol, which is what you want to drink, and not water, which is also what you want to drink. Everything else is bull and it's bad for you. This is where we started, and this is where we're at now. So, that's crazy. Taste test. Taste test. You're gonna blindfold me and for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna tell you which one's which. Alright, here we go. Ugh. Tastes like vodka. Mm-hmm. It is. Oh! Oh, that was like... Whew! Very gnarly. Very fierce. Okay, good. Good answer. Whew. Did you see what it was? Because that one... The second one she took, folks, oh, is the control. I didn't even so read it. So that one is not treated, and this one is the treated one. She I has didn't... a poor alcohol tolerance, but the control is oh, the I'm worst one. Oh, I'm feeling good. Hey. <laughs> uh, no, that's so funny. I didn't even see control, but I think I didn't want to know. I knew there was something written on it, but I didn't want to look at it because I just wanted it to be honest. But that was definitely... I mean, vodka just in general, ugh, it just doesn't taste that great to me. But this one had a lot smoother and not as just chemically. This one did taste very chemically and mm -hmm. like more toxic. Like you can tell, especially taking it right after that one, it had a very drastic difference of not natural. This one felt more natural. So, bottom line. Approved. We just made our own vodka. <laughs> we Alive fancified vodka. our vodka. <laughs> <laughs> we made it better for you. More better for you. So now we can drink more. <laughs> <laughs> drink up, vodka. You can have that one. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> and then, um, 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 so, um, um, 